Hey, Jay. What's up, Raul? What do Romans use to cut their pizzas? I don't know. Little Caesars. <laughs> Why did I not see that coming? <laughs> How did I miss that coming? <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, God damn it. I love it. That sounds like a Mexican Roman. A Mexican Roman? Yeah, because I don't know any it's Italian named Caesar. It's just a Mexican dude named Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Caesar. How do you cut your pizza? With little Caesars. <laughs> Los locos kick your ass into outer space. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsors. This is Raul of the Pop Song Podcast, here to talk to you about an exciting opportunity. Do you want to start a career in healthcare? Try Brevard Nursing Academy. They offer quality education at a more affordable cost. Offering classes in HHA, CNA, and CNA prep courses, CPR, BSL, phlebotomy, and much more. Classes start May 7th, 2018, and seats are limited. Mention you heard about Brevard Nursing Academy on the Pop Song Podcast for a discount on your registration fee. Affordable and convenient classes right at your fingertips. Brevard Nursing Academy, dedicated to providing the next generation of healthcare professionals. You can reach Brevard Nursing Academy at 321-323-9554 or visit them at www.brevardnursingacademy.com for more information. This has been Raul of Pop Song. You enjoy the show. And welcome back to another episode of Pop Song, episode 36. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. Man, it's been a while, guys. I'm so sorry that we've left you guys waiting. Yeah, so, yeah, so sorry, sorry, everybody. Personal things, but uh, just know everything is going well. Everything is going strong, and we are all healthy. Yes, Not- just understand that whenever you make plans, life... Uh, <laughs> Finds a way. Yeah. Thank you, Goldblum. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. 36. 36 episodes in. 36 is a hell of a number. Yo. The podcast is officially older than everyone in this room. Yes. I was about <laughs> to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Good shit. God damn. Um, yeah, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, welcome. It's uh, another great episode with your boy Raul. Of course, for me, I got... What's up? It's Jay Alvarez. And we got Marcel on the ones and twos making sure we good to go. Yo, you know how you talk about all that stuff when you're getting old and shit just starts developing? Oh, uh, like back problems? Back problems mm-hmm. and apparently allergies. Fucking doctor told me I got allergies. What? I'm thinking that because you, if you've listened to the past couple episodes, I'm sounding a little congested. Okay. Fucking allergies, bro. Dust and shit. I'm like, I've been around dust all my life. What the fuck? What's going on? What? Yeah, I'm pissed. Like it's, I, I'm on like Lerata Tad or Lerato, some shit that sounds like a Pokemon. Uh, 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 a pill a day or some shit like that, bro. It's it's not fun. I put the saline thing in my nose the other day for the first time. Yeah, I had a headache. Fucking head was throbbing, and I, I was driving my daughter home. And I was like, "Listen, I love you and everything, but you have to shut the hell up until <laughs> we get home. Until I get these meds, meds in my system." <laughs> God damn it, man. But yeah, man, episode 36, 36 episodes in. We'd like to thank all of you guys for uh, joining on this journey. Thank you. Yeah, man. Jay, how was your week, bro? Week was good, man. We we spend. I mean, it's been uneventful. I'm not gonna lie to you. And uneventful at this stage of my life is fantastic. I like it. Yeah. Like um. It. We're now we're we're finalizing. We uh we're taking the kids out to the wilderness next weekend. Um, we're going camping. That's yes. the whole thing we've been gearing up for. Love it. Uh, we got we got the girl the sleeping bag. The rest of us and we're we're not getting sleeping bags this time around just because it's already warm anyway. Mm-hmm. Um. So we're just gonna air mattress it up and use blankets. Okay. Um. Are make. Are we bringing the kids back? Yeah. The goal is yes. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> yeah. The goal. The goal is yes. The goal is we will bring the kids back. However, I did just book the campsite today, uh, and it's waterfront and it is alligator infested. Oh, so who knows? You know, may, maybe maybe we'll see Darwinism at work. Darwinism. We, we may not have an episode thirty-seven, guys. My, look, my money. My money is the girl makes it back without a scratch on her. The wow. boy. I love my son. I love him with all my heart. He's a little dumb. (laughs) (laughs) 
He's a little dumb. He may touch something he's not supposed to touch. I can't guarantee his safety. So if I'm not around him, if I'm not within five, if I'm not within arm's reach, forget five feet. If I'm not within arm's reach of the boy, mm-hmm. I can't guarantee anything. Facts. So, uh, but the the hope is, yeah, both kids come home. <laughs> both, the hope is both kids come home, and if they don't, we beat DCF to the house by at least ten minutes. God damn right. <laughs> Shit. Well, I'm, 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 no, I'm excited about. That. I'm excited to hear about it because you know me. I'm camping in my living room. Yeah, I'm not camping on nobody outside, my <laughs> nigga. Sorry. I think aside from that, the most the most exciting thing I'm doing, and I'm doing it right now. Sorry about that. I'm on my phone. You guys listening can't see that. Uh, so Lorraine and I are opening a joint account. Ooh, it's getting real. It is really real. Really, really. Oh and man. And we are having to answer. I'm having to answer questions because she's setting this up online. Oh. So boy. I just had to. I had to give her my social, fellas. You want to know how real your relationship is? When you're giving your social out to your significant other, yeah, it's real. It's for life. That's that for real. Fuck a marriage. That is cemented. Yeah, yeah. That should have saved somewhere in her brain. So they asked. <laughs> they asked for my social. They asked if I'm a dual citizen, because uh, apparently that matters. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I'm calling. What are the questions I'm I'm looking at? Uh, please select the country for the address on record with Chase. Oh my god! I don't think I've ever had a Chase account, but that'll be interesting. And I currently or previously resided in which of the following streets? Yeah. It's like they're already stealing my identity. They, yeah. I ain't even opened the account yet. They already know. They already know all your information. When that shit happened to me, they asked me about cars that my parents owned. They, knew, they had everything. And I was like, what's going on here? You got all the answers. Why are you asking me? Just give me the goddamn account. I'm just, I just want you to hold my money. <laughs> just hold... Hold my, I need to ask you questions. Why are you asking me questions and you're holding my money? <laughs> like, I got a shoebox. That that motherfucker don't ask me nothing. Look, look, I got a shoebox buried under a tree. You think it asked me any questions? Oh, Absolutely not. I'd be right back while I kill Jay and find out where that shoebox is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't know which tree. Oh, damn it. That's, That's right. <laughs> I am an outdoorsman. I I, I I am not an outdoorsman. This may, you know what? We're talking crap about the kids coming back. I may not make it back. <laughs> I look, I'm, I'm over here and Lorraine's going to kill me when she hears this because I've been pushing this whole thing like, oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing camping. Look, I ain't been camping oh. for recreational purposes since I was like 12. Is she finding this out right now? She's finding this out oh my God. right now. So, baby, I love you. Uh, you put your confidence in me, and ah, that was foolish. That was that was absolutely <laughs> foolish. Shouldn't have done it. I, look, I really don't know what I'm doing. It, it I, I guessed. I chanced my way. We set up the tent in the backyard. I don't know how we did that. I don't know how it happened. It just happened. I, I hope like, you can okay. do it again. No, we'll probably do it again. <laughs> you know how it happened? Because it's fucking easy. Look, oh. If I can look at it without instruction manuals and put it together, it's not because I'm a smart man. It's not because I have engineering inclinations. It's because I'm an idiot, and this is dummy proof. <laughs> what are all that, these parts for? I'm, throw them out. What are these spare parts? Yeah, get rid of them. Rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, so, YouTube video. Yeah, I watched the YouTube. I watched the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I figured the tent out. Nice. Just put so, the model number in. That's yeah. it. So like, we're going to camp. She's looking. At, she's asking me like, you know, what supplies should we get? And I, you know, I'm a man. I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't know. I should. I absolutely should because mm-hmm. we need all the help we could get. Mm-hmm. Uh, baby, I'm sorry. God damn, this is yeah. you should, I hope you like video a lot of this. Oh, there's so much it's gonna come back. Oh, uh it. some of it may be great social media fodder, some of it might be exhibit B. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how that works out. God um, damn. Yeah. How's your week been, man? Uh well, aside from this fucking development of allergies. Man, I think I think I may have inadvertently made a vegetarian out of uh out of Mason. What? Let me explain. Uh so Monday, I believe, we were cooking. Okay. And the, cook, the chicken was in the oven, baking mm-hmm. it up, putting some barbecue sauce. I was basting it up because, you know, I'm a dad and I'm a chef. That's what I do, baby. Mm-hmm. And Mason was like, it's so weird that there's chickens that walk around and then there's chickens that you cook. Oh. I was like, uh, so like me, both of my daughters looked at each other and they both looked at me like, oh, he doesn't know. Oh. I was like, pops, um... Do you think there's two different chickens? He was like, yeah, this is the one we eat, but then there's the animal. Now, of late, my son has become a really big animal lover. Like, loves animals. Like, he watched some movie called Benji, I think, on Netflix, and the dog... Yo, yo, don't... Co- no, stop. Wait, stop. No, 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 no. 
Don't you ever come out and say some movie Benji. Benji is a remake of a fantastic movie from the 1980s. I'm I a lost know. little puppy. Hold on. Oh my God. I no. <laughs> my chest. Don't jump down my throat. I know it's an old movie. I'm okay. talking, I'm I'm referencing the remake that he okay. watched. Because <laughs> you say some movie Benji. No, Benji is a fucking national treasure. Ooh, I see you are just the same as Mace. You ask me one question about the original movie Benji. Who was the star? I don't know shit exactly. about the original <laughs> Benji. <laughs> There was a dog and its name was Benji. Okay? God damn. Well, whatever it is, spoiler alert, the fucking dog died. And Mason told me, he was like, and I cried. And it, I was like, you cried because the dog died? I was like, I didn't even know you had a soul. Great. You <laughs> like, tell me you ain't cried at the end of Old Yeller? I'm black. Number okay, one. fair enough. Yeah. You tell me you ain't crying when Mufasa died? Yes. I, I love how I came out with the blackest yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> After yes. Old Yeller. <laughs> <laughs> old Yeller. He didn't kill that goddamn dog. So he's like, Dad, I, I cried when Old Yeller died. I mean, Old Yeller, fuck. <laughs> when Benji died. I mean, your head, bitch. Um, <laughs> so fast forward now to this conversation. I was like, um, little man, uh, that chicken in the oven is the chicken that walks around. Oh. I was like, we're literally eating his legs. Like, See, this is your first time with a with a with a kid, with a little kid. Hey, hey man, I didn't know how to answer that. Yeah, man. So kid, at some point, kids realize where their food comes from. Yeah. So he was like, he was like, his face, like, <clears throat> again, imagine, loves animals, wants a pet, um, wants another pet because we got Obi Wan in the cage with his Death Star. But my man was like. No way. Are you telling me that I'm eating a chicken right now? Yeah, that's like that that remember that that uh that burger that you had? Where do you think that comes from? He's like it's from McDonald's. I was like, uh well, technically, but that's made of cows. He was like, <gasps> Some of it is made of cows. Some of it. I don't know where the rest comes <laughs> it's from. It's McDonald's. Mo- mo- slightly made that of cows. Mostly cow. Most yeah, mostly. <laughs> And he was like, no way, dad. I was like, yeah, dude, that's... He's like, I'm not eating this stuff anymore. I was like, well, this is what we got right now. He's like, no, 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 I'm not eating anything, any animal anymore, ever. Only fish. You Lisa Simpson to your own son. I, yo, I, it was hilarious me looking at him finding this out. You, does he know where milk comes from? He knows it comes from... He knows that comes from a cow. He knows where eggs come eggs from. Eggs and cheese... No, Eggs, not so much. So he doesn't know that eggs are just aborted fetuses. Oof, I'm not going to tell him like that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's this old joke. This lady walks into a restaurant. She's with a son. They sit down and the waitress comes up and says, hey, honey, what do you have? And the kid looks at her and says, I'll devour the souls of the unborn. And then his mom puts her hand in her face and says, eggs. Yeah. He wants eggs. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that, that's what happened. So he's now, like, he doesn't want to eat any chicken. Like, he's eating the rice. He's eating the beans. Um, I made pork shoulder today. He's not touching that. Because he knows it's a pig. Yeah, also because he just had his tonsils taken out. Well, but, fair enough. But he knows it's from a pig. Pork oh, pig. Oh, wow. I was like, damn, am I, are you really not about to eat? Like, my, my grocery bill just got way more expensive. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. So Lorraine used to be vegan. Mm. Oh, no, she used to be, well, she might have been vegan at some point. But she, uh, for sure, she used to be vegetarian. And she still has a hard time cooking meat. Mm. Not because she doesn't enjoy it. She loves meat. She just hates handling meat. She yeah. hates cooking meat. She's really worried about meat turning bad. She took a microbiology class in college that fucked her whole world up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she she's always worried about meat going bad and being cooked properly. She hates preparing meat. She hates cooking meat because she doesn't like her own cooking. Um, so she was vegetarian for a long time. And because of that, uh, Annabelle, she she doesn't like eating meat a lot. Like, for, she's totally happy with, like, grilled cheese, mac and cheese. Like, she eats a lot of vegetarian stuff mm. uh, just because she prefers it. Um, matter of fact, whenever we eat fried rice and stuff, she wants no meat in it. Mm. She's like, I don't want any of the meat. We're like, you don't like... I'm, and I'm asking because I don't know no better. You don't like meat? She's like, no, I just I don't, I don't like eating all the meat. Mm, okay, enough. so that's weird. So it's cool because now I have a, you know, I have a 13-year-old who's basically living off hot dogs and chicken nuggets. Yes. And I have a 9-year-old who likes steamed broccoli. 
Yeah. So it's a toss up. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either. Yeah. Is what, is what, that, is what that means. <laughs> yeah, Mason does not like broccoli. He thinks his farts smell like broccoli, so he doesn't touch them. All right. Well, yeah. I hope he starts liking tandoori because that's about all you got left. Yeah, pretty much. You better find some Indian spot real quick. Start shaking. How do they nod their heads like, ah, uh, yes, I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, hey, man. Welcome, thank you. Welcome to the tandoori <laughs> hut. <laughs> Yo, Side sidebar. There's a fucking Jamaican Indian spot by my church. What? Yeah, <laughs> jerk tandoori. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Is that what's going on? Well, we gotta. Maybe, they might sponsor us. We need Is, to not talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm just seeing everybody like like Bollywood dancing to dance hall music. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> Bollywood dancing to vibes cartel. <laughs> Lovato come out of nowhere. What That'll be amazing. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I I really. I mean, I don't know if he's really gonna give up meat like that, but he's just not eating anything I'm cooking right now. Give him a week. You know what? Wait until he gets some pepperoni. He likes pepperoni no, on his pizza? he doesn't. Jeez. Yo, Mace was... All, look, you, and, and we lost Mace a long time ago. Yeah. That's that's what you're telling me right yeah. now. Mace was born to be a vegetarian. Yeah. Fucking... They, I, they bought turkey bacon the other day and I threw it out. I threw that shit in the garbage. I was like, don't ever disrespect me in my own house where turkey. I pay the bills and bring in this shit. Turkey bacon? You use Listen. my money to buy turkey bacon. <laughs> Listen, I've been to some halal spots that use beef bacon, and that's abysmal in itself. Mm -hmm. But I get it because it's a halal spot. But it's either... Be if, if you're going to come at me with turkey bacon, I'm going to come at you with the fury of a thousand gods mm -hmm. who don't give a shit about you or your virgins. Goddamn right. There will be pork in this house today. <laughs> and I'm don't saying that shit. because I had bacon for dinner. <laughs> ah, dinner of champions. I got yo. I got home to the sexiest thing in the world: a woman in the kitchen and the smell of bacon drifting through my house. Mm. Damn, mm. that is sexy. I was a little late today. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, man. That's that's been it, man. That's that's hilarious. He's uh he just had tonsils taken out. Uh, he was excited going in. Hated everybody in that doctor's office coming out. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, it's it's been it's been swell. Um, I'm happy he's doing all right, man. That that's scary. My son had his appendix out two years ago. Oh. Uh, was it two, three, four, four years ago so now? Like appendicitis Damn. type deal. Yeah, yeah I had appendicitis. Had that, yeah. It was when I was driving a truck. Mm. So oh, I, yeah. I just happened to be home because I Thank I could have been anywhere in the country, yeah. and I just happened to be home. He just happened to be with me for the week, mm. and uh, he woke up one morning screaming, crying, and he was pointing. And I knew exactly what he was pointing at when he when he did it. So I was like, damn. Yeah. So I grabbed him up, threw him in the car. We went to the hospital. And by the seven o'clock the next morning, he had his appendix out. That's crazy. And that was that that was that was it's nerve wracking. You know? It sucked, man. And you know, the be okay, so the crazy part is we got him over to Orlando. They did the surgery out there. Um, you know, they were gonna do it the next morning. So the next morning we wake up, they wheel him down to to prep. You know, they uh, you know, his mom and you know, his mom came up from Fort Myers. And uh, we're there with him. The drugs take effect, and they wheel him into the operating room. They tell us there's a nurse in there. Her only reason for existing was to text us. Mm. It was the only reason she was in that room. So she would text us regular updates. That's what she was telling us. She's like, we'll text you when it begins. We'll text you during it. We'll text you after it. So you're updated throughout the whole thing. But for right now, there's nothing you can do. It's 7 a.m. Go get some breakfast. You two look rough. Mm. And, and it was kind of like, oh, who the fuck are you? But at the same time, she was kind of like, mom. And she was like, all right, thanks, mom. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so we went, so we got, we got to the cafeteria, which was right by the operating, you know, right by surgery. We get there, we get our food, we sit down. As soon as we sit down, we get the first text message. It says, hey, mom and dad, surgery's done. Come meet me in recovery. Holy shit. That surgery took 15 minutes. Yeah. And we sat down, we looked at each other, and we asked ourselves a very important question. Are we bad people if we eat first? <laughs> Not at all, bro. Not at all. So we, she took an orange, I took an apple. We went over to recovery. <laughs> That's funny. We were like, we just sat down. I'm That's hungry. Crazy. Yeah, no. Does this make me a bad person. Right, nah, cause he, um, he sent, he sent a little, he did a little video before. We're talking about he's gonna have his, his tonsils taken out. His tonsils. That video was um, adorable. He sounded like he was already. On, yeah, yeah. He sounded, he sounded like, like the anesthesia was already in. For real, but um. He did that. Then he said, you know, because I had to, t I had to take the girls to school, so I couldn't go with him. So um, he got up, he went, did his thing. Um, his mom calls me, and as soon as she calls me, she's like, "Oh, it's finished. Let me go run back there." So she sends, she starts a video call me. And I'm driving, and it's him crying because of the pain or what have you. Yeah, that shit broke my heart. I'm stuck in traffic. I was like, "Babe, I gotta call you back." And I'm like, "I'm, I'm in the truck, so I'm like." Speeding, moving yeah. people out the way. Cause you, when people see that truck coming, they fucking move. Yeah, I'm moving, 
And man, when I got there, he was, you know, still, as soon as he saw me and opened his, because I said, when you, when you, when you get up and you open your eyes, I'm going to be there. As soon as he opened his eyes, he reached his hand. I was like, oh my God, I'm here, man. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah, no, man, my son woke up and I was already out like, you know, it's normally like the mom that's like sitting down on the hospital bed, like laying over the kid. No, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the yeah. one laying over him. And uh, yeah, man, it was bad. He, my son took it like a trooper though. That's I got to give it to him. He recovered. He was walking the next day. Oh, he was walking that afternoon. Actually, That's he was good. good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. He's he's home. He's uh. I mean, you know. Okay, it's, it's first day, and I think I made a mistake a little while, like a while back, by telling because I don't. I crying is annoying. Mm -hmm. Crying annoys the fuck out of me. But I realized that when he has to cry, he doesn't. And I'm like, no, dude. If you gotta cry, let that shit out. Like he like let it out. Don't yeah. hold it in because of me. No, cry, cry. Yeah, you're, I was ra like, you're raising a future guest on the Mori Povich. <laughs> <laughs> He told me not to. No, nah, man. I was like, no, you got to cry. So I'll just let it all out and all of that. So he's 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 recovering. He's doing what he's supposed to do. It's the first day. I'm giving him his medicine around the clock. Yeah. Um, good thing is wife is still on, Um, I guess, medical leave for the surgery. Okay. They, got, they extended it two more weeks. So I got two more Mondays of hell. God damn it. <laughs> we'll get into that another time. Um, But yeah, man. Everything is good. So thank you for everybody reaching out and, letting, and asking about him. He is doing great. He, I guess, will do an update video to the original video when he can talk because he's refusing to speak now. So at least you got silence. Yeah. I don't know. I like hearing him talk, but yeah. It's a, it's a lot quieter in the house. <laughs> it's that one time where if it's quiet in the house, you're not worried. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, babe. Do you hear the kids? Mm -hmm. No, I don't hear anything. Ah oh, shit! Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. run. That's how that goes. God damn! But yeah, man. Um, that has been our time frame again, guys. We do appreciate you uh, still supporting us through a little bit of a hiatus. We got through the family things, family issues. Everybody is a okay. Yep. Now we're here to bring you some entertainment news. Woo hoo! What we got? Let's start off with the little box office, man. It's it's, it's a little it's a little different. Mm. A little different than last time. We got. Mm. I'm just run off the top five, and you can get into it. So coming in at number one, a quiet place with I believe 50 million. Opening weekend, yeah. I heard a lot of good good reviews about this movie. Definitely a, gotta check it out. A horror movie in April, yeah. Uh, thriller. I've, I've, that's people. Keep okay, saying, thriller, thriller. You're right. You're people right. Keep saying thriller. Um, so that was that did good. We got Ready Player One making uh, another twenty five million to a total of ninety six million, um, which is crazy to me. Right. Uh, I, I I I went into that movie low expectations. I don't know why, but I had no hopes for that movie at all. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, number three is Blockers with John Cena. 20, yeah. 20 million opening weekend. That is not bad for that that's, little movie. Yeah, for, for a goofball comedy, yeah, that's, that's really good for a debut. It's not bad at all. And then we got Black Panther still holding on strong at number four, bringing in another eight million, but for a total of 665 million plus. Jeez. Crazy. Number one. Comic book movie, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. One comic book movie. Highest gross to superhero movie. Um, I think domestically it just beat Titanic. Yeah, it did. That's crazy. Um, and then rounding off the top five is Tyler Perry's Acrimony. Uh eight million this weekend for a total of thirty one mil. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's his that's that's on par with his movies. Um, so it's another win for him. I didn't know Tyler Perry had a movie out. I, I would wish I didn't. Does this one have Medea in it too? Uh no, thank God. Oh, okay, but still, when it says Tyler Perry's, I just zone out after that. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm looking at it. So you got 50 million, 25 million, 20 million, 8 million, and 8 million. So the top five movies all together grossed, gross, grossed. grossed. Top five movies <laughs> <laughs> this weekend all together grossed 111 million dollars. You know all that math in your head just now? Yeah. You didn't use a calculator? No. That wasn't what your phone was doing in your hand just now. No. Okay. No, no. 100, <laughs> 111 million dollars. Yeah. What did Black Panther open to week one? 200 and... 200. 201? Yeah. Million. Yeah. Yeah. That tells you what kind of numbers Black Panther's yeah. been doing. Yeah. The, the top five. And Black Panther's still in this top five. Yes. And it, that came out... It's April now. So two months ago? Three months ago? Yeah. It, Jesus. It literally doubled. <laughs> yeah. Black Panther made double this entire weekend mm -hmm. in its first weekend. Yes. That is nuts to me. It's still going strong. And I think... I don't know. It, it's 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 a great movie. Don't get me wrong, but I saw Ready Player One recently, and I'm I'm gonna say an unpopular opinion here. I think I like that movie more than Black Panther. 
And I say that because it has so much fanfare, so much Easter eggs. It gives a callback to a whole host of video games, movies, all that. This is not a spoiler. Yeah. There's a point in the movie where you see Toro, the, the dude from Mortal Kombat, or Goro, sorry, Goro. Goro okay. With the, all the forearms. He's standing there and he's talking, and then the fucking alien pops out of his chest. The fucking alien from Alien. Oh, the xenomorph. The xenomorph. Pops what? out of his chest. I was like, no fucking way. I was like, this this is the greatest movie ever. <laughs> like they had so much shit. Like you have to watch it more than once to really get every every all the Easter eggs. Everything is in there. I dig it. Oh god, I, I fucking it. love that movie. I haven't seen it yet. I'm I, I admit I'm behind the curve on this. Uh, but that is going to change because it, I've heard nothing but amazing things out of this movie. Yeah, man, it made it grow. I, I, I thought it did. maybe that was worldwide, but 181 million uh, was the was the uh, oh no you know what that was the 181 million because I think that movie came out on a weird time I think it came out like Wednesday yeah and that yeah, was, yeah yeah it was a five day week because it was yeah. a holiday weekend yeah so yeah. that's what that was but still that was that was impressive I didn't think that movie would do that great I I had an idea that that Ready Player One was gonna do amazingly just because it's Steven Spielberg mm-hmm. doing Steven Spielberg Easter eggs. Essentially, yeah. you know, like, that, yeah. you know, they, and it's not all Steven Spielberg Easter eggs by any means, but it's something that I could see him doing. Like Steven Spielberg is amazing at making you recapture or, or go back to your childhood. Yes. You know what I mean? Like he's really good at that. He's literally doing that in this movie. Yeah. Like that. that's what the movies. It's one thing to have a movie with a plot that takes you back. It's another thing or with a now I'm sorry, not a plot, a movie with like a plot point or something that happens that takes you back. It's another thing when the whole movie is just about taking you back. Hell yeah. There's, and this was before my fear of frauds. There is even like a scene where the battle toads are running into battle. They like, got the battle toads. Yes. I'm telling you, you have to go see this movie. Bro. You have to go see this. I fucking loved every minute. And it is it is an adventure movie. You know, Lorraine's going to ask me why I came home at four o'clock in the morning. Now she's going to hear it from here first. Baby, I'm going to watch Ready Player One. I love you. I love Annabelle, but you ain't coming with me. You ain't coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it, it, it was definitely a great movie. Um, I, 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 And it's honestly, Black Panther in this movie can't even be compared. Two different movies. Yeah, no, that you said unpopular opinion. Yeah. You know, that no, that's that's I don't yeah. see any problem with that because yeah. I like a lot of movies more than I like Black Panther. Yeah. My favorite movie is still and glorious bastards. Oh yeah. Now yeah. you ask me what my f- and, and even in Marvel movies, Black Panther's still not my favorite MCU movie. No, it's still right. Winter Soldier. Yeah, Black Panther's a very close number two. Mm-hmm. And you know, I wouldn't even say I, I'm thinking it's kind of tied with that and Thor Ragnarok. To be honest with you, more than Thor Ragnarok, definitely less than Winter Soldier. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But again. Ready Player One, a uh, phenomenal movie. I, my son was on the edge of his seat, and I didn't even know he liked movies like that. Um, Quiet Place. I've heard a lot of good reviews about A Quiet Place. I've heard a lot of good reviews. I will not watch this movie. <laughs> I don't like being scared, man. It's not a thing I'm into. I don't like, I don't like being, being startled. Scared. I don't like being scared. I don't give a shit how I, good the movie is. I feel you. I feel you. No, I, I'm, I'm the same way, but they, they're building it as a thriller. I like, I like thrillers. I like... I want to see what happens because essentially it's a fucking silent movie. You can't make a noise or these aliens are going to come and kill you. Like no more. Like I heard, and I guess this is not a spoiler either. She's like giving birth and she can't make a sound. Jeez. Like, yeah. I want to see this whole thing yeah. unfold. Absolutely. Um, blockers. I've heard mixed reviews about it. I heard John Cena is not the standout. The standout is... The only this is the only way I can remember him. The guy that played the shitty correctional officer in Suicide Squad. I don't even know exactly. I don't know his name. <laughs> and again, guys, we warned you guys before. We, we don't get names right. Doesn't matter. But the the other oh, dad. Did you think we were experts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess again. The other guy that's the dad in this movie is you know. One that carries a movie, I guess. Um, yeah. But mixed reviews. It's a comedy. It's this is something I definitely still want to see. It's not, I don't. I'm not gonna hold it to any high standards. Right. Make me laugh. That's all I ask. You know what I mean? Um, I am definitely not seeing Acrimony. I'm not. I'm not watching that. You can't live that stereotype. No. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care what it's about. I. I know that it's involved in the church. Somebody's on drugs. They get off drugs. They go to the church. They get back on drugs. Fuck that. Tyler Perry is not. Getting my money. I apologize. No. Um, but uh, again. But you didn't say unpopular opinion for this one. Fuck that. <laughs> <clears throat> I this is this is not the movie I am. This is not the black movie I'm supporting. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, Tyler Perry. I I don't like his movies, bro. 
uh, for colored girls. That shit was traumatizing. Uh, a diary of a woman's pain. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. A I'm huge good, Tyler. fam. I'm not a nope. huge Tyler Perry fan either. Mm-mm. Uh, but again, th- yeah, that that is the top five box office. It's it's it's. I like I like the mix up. Uh, but Black Panther's still holding on strong. I don't see it falling off the top ten, as you were saying. Yeah, because things are coming up. We're you know we're I mean? two weeks away from the release of uh, Infinity War, mm-hmm. and Black Panther's still in the top five. It's still in the top five, and they just released information about the, a May eighth release for the Blu Ray. That movie's still gonna be in the top ten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have a movie out on Blu-ray that's still in the top ten of the box office. Crazy. Unless Marvel, unless Disney just pulls that out of the theaters, like, hey, we're, we're okay, we're done, we're done playing here. We're, we're just gonna pull it out, let the other kids have a chance. Uh, Come on, to me. Yeah, yeah, I think they're gonna take it out before Infinity War comes out because they don't want to have. It, I mean, it's not gonna. Black Panther and Infinity War are not going to compete for box office money. No, but you don't want two Marvel movies in the theaters at the same time. Maybe you do. I, I do. But yeah. I don't think Disney as a studio does. I think I'm they'd rather just go ahead, pull that one out, let Infinity War take all of the money that it can. That way there's no like, oh, I guess we'll see Black Panther. No, you're going to wait until the next Infinity War showtime <laughs> if it's sold out. Not going to go see Black Panther and say, oh, I guess we'll just watch it again and go home. No, fuck watch it. Watch it again and go yeah. home. It's I honestly not think they might just leave it in there because I think that Infinity War, when people go see Infinity War, it's going to um, link... A lot, of course, to Black Panther, and it's gonna make them want to go back and rewatch Black Panther again. Shit, you know what? That's a good angle. Yeah, they might just go right back to it. So I, it's gonna stay. It's gonna be there until possibly the end of scat scarce to the end of June. Yeah, I, I want to say that. Um, because I've I've had some movies that I've bought on DVD, Blu-ray, and they were definitely still in somebody's theater. So fair. Yeah, we shall see on that one. But um. Yeah, guys, let us know what you think about this box office. Give us a call, 321-405-2219. Hey, we got a Snapchat now, guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, pops on underscore snap. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and screenshot, follow us, add us. We accept everybody. It don't even matter. We just post We post little short clips, contents, and things like that of um, certain topics, pre-production shit. Uh, whatever we doing, we post it. So uh, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely go check that out. Again, pops on underscore snap. Yeah, and you can also find us on the other social medias. Uh, find us on pops on uh, and uh, on Facebook. You get us at No Dad Jokes on Instagram mm-hmm. at No Dad Jokes with a Z at the end on on, on Twitter because mm-hmm. uh, we do anything on Twitter anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we get a following on Twitter, maybe we'll tweet. Maybe we'll, you know we'll, we'll start making twats. Uh, we'll do it. That's right. God, I went there. I'm not, that's, help that's why, that's help why. me twat, America. Oh, God. <laughs> Make us twat again, apparently. Uh, or send us an email. Let us know. Your, give, give us your favorite dad joke. Let us know what you think about the box office at nodadjokes at gmail.com. Yeah, man. Um, So, man, a lot of trailers dropped. Yeah, man. In a little bit of time frame that, we, uh, that we've been out. Um, a couple of different ones we want to highlight. Some good, some bad, some surprising. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we got, of course, a, a little bit of a favorite. So uh, the first one we're going to talk about, Night School, starring mm-hmm. Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. As a night school graduate myself, wow. I'm offended. <laughs> I didn't like the trailer. I no. did not like the trailer. It it just I'm going to watch it. It's it's definitely still better than the Tyler Oh, that's Perry the black movie, movie you're going to yeah, watch? It's, it's not still, Tyler Perry, but you'll watch the Kevin Hart one. I'll watch Kevin Hart. I am not watching nothing from Tyler Perry. <laughs> Kevin Hart, you know what? The Rock was in a Tyler Perry movie once. At the very end. Oh, boy. Yeah. I almost stopped supporting him after that. Ugh. Yeah. But no, I didn't like the trailer. Uh, It just felt like Kevin Hart being Kevin Hart. But I do like Kevin Hart. I do. I really do. Uh, I'm going to give this movie a chance. I don't. I like Tiffany Haddish. Um, I didn't like her in this, though. I didn't like the trailer. I didn't like anything about this trailer. Mm-hmm. There was not a single thing about this that I was into. It, it Oh, look, it's Kevin Hart with somebody else. Mm-hmm. I mean that that's, that's really all it is at this point. That's really all it is. Kevin Hart with guest. I mean, even the Secret Life of Pets, it was with him and Louis C.K. Yeah, that was they was top billing them, yeah. Yeah, so I mean it, I just okay. I did not like him in, in, in Secret Life of Pets. I just watched that movie again. I you know, day. I did. You know why? Because I couldn't see him. Yeah, but you heard him and you yeah, knew it was. But you know what? He is very animated. You know what I mean? That that, that <laughs> That's attitude. True. That I think that actually works out well for animation. You mm-hmm. know, so it, as a cartoon, I was like, okay, this is the uh, this is tolerable. Tolerable. I actually watched him in um Captain Underpants. 
I did not like that. I haven't seen Captain Underpants don't, either. Just don't I've, been, I've been avoiding it. Good. You don't need you, your kids are old enough. They don't need to see that either. Okay, I'll take that. God damn right. Um, so the next one though, uh, upgrade. <laughs> now, so I was scouring, looking at trailers, this, that, and the third, and man, this one stuck out. I was like, I gotta show Jay. I gotta show Jay. Um, Blumhouse Productions. Yeah. Is 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 behind this. So that's the ones behind Get Out. Uh, what's the well, gla- not Glass? Cause glass is the next one. Uh, Split. So get out, split. Yes. Uh, Happy Death Day. Did you see that? I haven't seen Happy Death Day. No, but I've heard amazing things. It's so about good. It. And then they got another one coming out called Truth or Dare that me and my daughter are gonna see next. Oh, it's coming out this week actually. We should probably do a segment on shit that's coming out the week. We probably should next episode. We'll do that next one. <laughs> but that's coming out this week. Um, yeah, Upgrade looked spectacular. I man, I I was blown away by that trailer. Mm-hmm. Just the 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 way. I don't I, the, just the way it's built like it's definitely a futuristic world mm-hmm. the way the story seems like it's unfolding like the plot behind it the way this guy does what he's doing it was very it was it, I loved it yeah I, I really like this trailer and looking at it I, I wanted to see first thought of my first words out of my mouth were who wrote and directed this mm-hmm. because it's it's different storytelling yeah. And it's really good, especially with Blumhouse putting their behind uh, the the support behind it. And we found out Lee uh, Lee Wan L, who also created Saw, yeah. Which exp- and, and then I saw that he was from Melbourne, Australia, mm-hmm. and that explained everything. Yeah, because you got to be a little twisted for Saw. He also did Insidi- uh, Insidious mm-hmm. uh, one and three. Uh, he uh, yeah. When I saw oh from Australia. Got it. Makes sense now. Now I understand everything. Yeah, I like it. I like it. He's definitely Blumhouse Productions has definitely been killing it. I don't I I don't see them doing anything wrong. Um I've liked everything they put out. They made that crazy. nice Shyamalan cool yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They brought him I back. Mean, yo, let me tell you, after the village, after the happening. Which is I the, am a, the, the, I am the one a, with the wind. No, no, no. That's the happening. The yeah. one with the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am a Colombian, born and raised in the United States of America. John Leguizamo is my spirit animal. <laughs> when you put John Leguizamo in a movie and I hate the movie, you have totally fucked me. Yeah. And that's what happened in The Happening. Yeah. I just watched John Leguizamo start cutting himself with windshield glass on the side of the street. Fucking weird. I hated that movie. I recently rewatched that. Uh, Why? I, M. Night Shyamalan hasn't recently rewatched that. <laughs> I think we were on a Shyamalan kick. Come out with my daughter like Split. So we went back and watched all this shit. I was like, you're about to see where he went wrong. Do you really want to... Fuck this up yeah. for yourself. What's the village? The beginning of the end, honey. Yeah. It's yeah. the beginning of the end. God damn. But yeah, man. So I'm I'm excited for upgrade. That looks like it's coming out June first. Uh I hope it gets a wide release. It's 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 it was at what South by Southwest Film Festival and things like that. So I hope it's it's somewhere I can see it yeah. in this damn town. Um but moving on, uh next movie we got Johnny English Strikes Again. Johnny English three. Rowan Atkinson refuses to die. Yeah, I didn't know he was alive. I, I, and, I, and this is only here because it, I never really watched his movies, but seeing him just brings me back to a point in my childhood. I just don't know. Well, that's because it's Mr. Bean. Ah, Mr. Oh, Mr. Bean, that fucking guy. Yeah, I, as soon as you see him, that's like, yeah. oh, it's Bean. Oh, but he talks. Oh, he's Johnny English. Right, because I've never heard him talk before those before that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, there it is. Johnny English is just Mr. Bean with, with vocalism. With lines. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I, um, I, I'll probably check it out with the kids. It's, it's, it looks like a cool little Yeah, it was, it was a fun little trailer. It's definitely something to watch with kids. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The next thing we got uh, coming up is The Meg, uh, starring Jason Statham. Um, it's a little shark movie. <laughs> a little shark movie. That's No, it's not a little shark movie. This is a huge megalodon that is fucking shit up. Uh, I thought it was Jaws meets Deep Blue. Deep Blue Sea with yeah. LL Cool J? Yeah, and Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking sharks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, man, I, you know what? This just shows me that Jason Statham will do anything. Yes. If, what's that movie he did when he jolt or voltage? Some shit like that? Oh, Crank, Crank. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Say, I really like Jason Statham. When he came out in Snatch, yeah. I was like, man, this guy's a good actor. He is a good actor. But for whatever reason, he got hit with the action bug because he thinks he's going to be the next British Arnold Schwarzenegger. Pretty much. His, his movies, not. I mean, some of them are good. Some of them are cool. I'm, I'll give it to him, but I don't like a lot of Jason Statham movies. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely going to see Meg, The Meg. I'll, I don't I'll, I don't I'll, like the name. <laughs> I'll, 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 watch it on, I'll watch it on DVD, maybe, if I remember it. You're not. 
No. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll never watch that movie. The Meg. No, no, it looks it looks dope. But it's um, a megalodon. It is. Like, oh, he's, he's <laughs> oh, look, the sharks eating people at the beach. Oh no, it's Steven Spielberg all over again. Uh, Sorry, Spielberg. It's Jaws. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. It's a big ass shark. They should have just called it megalodon. The Meg they sounds just called stupid. it Jaws Six. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the other day, not the other day, but a little couple years ago. Me and my daughter watched all three Jaws. We could have just stopped at one. Shit, I just had an epiphany. Oh, God. Yo, remember Back to the Future 2 predicted the future? Oh, Jaws With 3D? the World Series? Yes! <laughs> yes! That's what this is. Yo! Wow. They predicted the Cubs winning the World Series. They did. <laughs> and they predicted a new Jaws movie. That's bugged out. Give it up this for it. Robert Zemeckis. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? Well, <laughs> I just fucked your whole world you up. You did. Going back to the fucking uh, Ready Player One, it was so much, <laughs> so much references to Back to the Future in that movie. Yeah. No, I That's yeah. the theme. Theme yeah. music. I loved it. Anyway, um, moving on. Um, Infinity War. So there's a, there's, a, there's a TV spot that is Black Panther heavy, which in, I, I knew they were going to go there at some point. This particular one is, is called The Chant. Uh, they're just chanting, chanting over Mbabe or whatever the hell he's saying. And it's more so, you know, Tony Stark says, hey, we need help. And from that point on, it's Wakanda yeah. the whole time. And it, like I said, that this movie is going to make people go back and watch Black Panther again. They're not taking that shit out there no time soon. Probably not. No, they're not taking you it know, out. It would be funny if there was like this huge resurgence to see Black Panther again. And, and then you have Infinity up. War and Black Panther number one as and a one and number two. That would be bugged out. But it's smart. Yo, at that point, Mickey Mouse is just going to come out and start jizzing all over Minnie. <laughs> like, just money shots for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> <coughs> I can't fuck with you, son. <coughs> Bob, it's cut his Mickey pain, coming out, pa- suspenders off, pants <coughs> down. Minnie's got a scared look in her eye. Oh and he's going to be like, oh, you want to take that? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right. Yo, we're going to move on. <laughs> oh, you got oh, some man. in your eye. <laughs> Not my eye. No. Anyway, folks, uh, <laughs> Avengers Infinity War, that's coming out April 27th. You told me you got your tickets already. Oh, uh, yeah. I got my tickets two weeks ago. All I got is my shirt. Mickey's, al- sure Mickey's already gonna... using my money my oh, money for, for, just, for, for, for jizz ranks. It's going to be jizz. He's going to have two money shooters in each hand. <laughs> just, oh, my God. Why am I picturing this? I can't. Uh, You're welcome, America. Mm, Goddamn. <laughs> Moving right along. Um, the big one, though. Aha. Uh-huh, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Solo, a Star Wars story. The uh, the I believe this got to be the final trailer coming out next month. Is it what the second trailer? Yeah, no, no. The, it's the is, first trailer because we got a teaser before. Yeah, the before was a teaser, so this is the first trailer. No, there was a teaser. No, yeah, this is yeah, the there first was a real teaser, trailer. and then it was this as a trailer. That's, That's all it. we need. That's yeah. probably all we need to be and honest. This one's real heavy on the Chewbacca and Lando. Yeah, and that I liked. Yes, I like, I like, I like the, um, first of all, I like the, we all like the, the, the banter between Solo and Chewbacca, um, but I like to see Donald Glover as Lando. He seems cool, he seems mad smooth. Yeah, he does. He seems real smooth. I just, I, are you watching season two of Atlanta? I'm not yet, no. I, I, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Let me tell you something, this is the weird, I love it, but this yeah. is the weirdest shit ever. Like, it's not even, like, flowing with each other. All of these actors in that, this is way off on a tangent. All of those actors, so Donald Glover, oh, the fuck, I don't know the other dude's name. Donald Glover, the guy that plays Paperboy, and the guy that plays Paperboy's cousin. Yeah. All three of them are are in major movies. You know what I mean? They, they, they've done other shit. So now what this season has done is just taking them a step up in their <laughs> acting. No, seriously. Like, yeah. they're, they're like the guy that, the skinny dude that was in Get Out yeah. with the hat. Okay. He's like on his own little journey doing things. He's not the idiot that you met in the first season. Oh, so he's not still trying to trade a pit bull for a car? Facts. Okay. He's not. Um, Donald Glover is doing his thing same way. Paperboy was on his own little adventure. You have to watch season two of Atlanta. I it's have amazing. to get out. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I, I love what I'm seeing from him. This trailer made me a little more excited. Like, I was going to see it anyway. doesn't matter. He, he, I agree with you. Yeah. This trailer made me a lot more excited. What bothers me, though, is it got me excited because it featured Chewbacca and Lando Calrissian. What the fuck is going on with Han? I... I said this before I think we should have just got a Lando movie yeah. I think I think this is gonna be a more emphasis on Lando and and, and, and how, because I don't need any more backstory on Han 
Yeah. I never wanted it. There, there was a, there was an article. It did, they didn't name the actor, but there's somebody on the movie that didn't. They gave an interview in because my, one of my biggest things is that they had to bring an acting coach for this kid. Yeah. They had to bring in an acting coach. Now, what this guy came out in the interview and said was that he requested it. He, he came out and he was proactive in saying, "I'm having a hard time getting into this character. Okay. I need some help." So they got him an acting coach. That changes. I it. can respect that. I can absolutely respect that. If you know you're having a hard time getting out, Han's not an easy character. People forget how complex Han Solo can actually be. Right. You know what I mean? Like, is he benevolent? Is he benevolent? Is he, you know, what what, what are his real ambitions? What he's trying to do? Like, Han's Han's a hard read. So I, I get, I'm, I'm totally okay with the fact that he requested an acting coach. Fine. The actor also came out and said that after that, things were a lot smoother for him. Yeah. So that's okay. Still don't know that I care. Still don't know that I'm happy with it. I feel you. It's 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 this this is a character we hold near and dear. Mm-hmm. We just don't want him to fuck up. I just watched him die in The Force Awakens. Yeah, Han Solo. I watched Han Solo die. Now you're gonna tell me the next movie I see him in is gonna be uh, potentially might be garbage. Don't tell mm. me that. Yeah, I'm not okay with that. Yeah, real niggas cry when 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 uh Solo died. Also, why does Chewbacca sound like the teacher from Snoopy? Yeah, yeah. When he asks him the questions, like, you're 190. Yeah, he does. Uh, uh, like, that's what he says. I was yeah. like, wait, is that an Easter egg? Because if that's an Easter egg, I'm good with it. But if it's not, no. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Yeah, man. Now I'm exci- I'm more excited about it. I'm definitely gonna go uh, go ahead and see this one and all uh, all of these movies, to be honest, including Night School. I'm gonna watch all of them. Um and 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 hopefully they all you know live up to the little bit of hype that I that I'm a little bit excited for, you know what I mean? Um, it's it's gonna be a good little season summertime. Yeah. No, this summer this summer's gonna be very Summer's very good gonna, for movies. It's, it's definitely kicking off with Avengers: Infinity War. Uh, we got Deadpool rocking. We got Solo coming through. We got Incredibles two. Yes, we do. Um, we got Ant Man and the Wasp, which in I, you know what? And this is again not on even not even on the agenda. I'm thinking that little teaser they put out for Ant Man and the Wasp isn't real. I didn't even know they put a teaser out. <laughs> yeah, man, for Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh wait, you talking about the teaser that came out a couple of weeks ago for Ant Man and the Wasp? Yeah, yeah. Like a couple months ago, like a month or two ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm starting to think that's not even real. Really? I'm starting to think that we're really going to get a sense of what's happening after Infinity War. I think they put that out to hey, say, hey. This is coming out, but I'm thinking it's a fucking, it's it's a lie. I'm thinking none of that. Oh, well, we saw because remember none of that shit made sense. Yeah, and, and none of it was in context of what's about to go down. I don't think it's a real trail. I don't think I think they put that out to put it in our minds that this is coming. But I think the real trailer is gonna be right after Infinity War. Okay, no, I agree with that. And this that, that was more of a teaser. Yeah. Now, whether or not they actually went out and filmed fake scenes for a teaser, I know it's very Game of Thrones, but I dig it. I, I, I wouldn't put it past them. They got the bread. They do. They got the bread. I feel none of that shit was real. Hmm. I feel none of it was real. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely be able to see it come, come, come uh, April 27th. I'm All in right. there. But yeah, man. Uh, again, give us, your, give us your thoughts on this topic. Uh, give us a call. 321-405-2219. Uh, hit us up on all social media platforms. It's time for me to annoy Jay. This is what I was trying to get here for. Oh, boy. Jay. What up, bro? What do you listen for in music? Substance. Elaborate. Substance. Okay, yeah, that's a word that most people who listen to music now don't understand. Um, <laughs> so substance means that I want my music to actually say something. Uh, aside from bitches and titties, bitches and titties, bitches and titties, per. Uh. Like, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that in my music. I don't want it in my car. I don't want it in my headphones. Mm. Uh, give me music that talks about something. I love hip hop. I grew up a hip hop head. People don't believe that because I shit on Migos. Give me real hip hop. Give me people who are actually rapping about something. Okay. And I will give you a fan. Until then, you got garbage. Okay. Your music is garbage. Everything you listen to is garbage. And I will tell you that it is garbage because it is garbage. Are, are you done? What you got for me, Raul? <laughs> well, I listen to things a little bit differently. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I, I like yes, absolutely. I love music with a message. I love substance. But then there's some times when yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to have a message. Yeah. I listen to Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs talks about a lot of drug dealing and shit. It's not necessarily a message, right? But it's got substance. Like you can listen to his music and be like, okay, yeah, I, I dig it. I, dig I, it. I get mm-hmm. where he's coming from. Sometimes I just want to 
zone out with music. Just sometimes I just want to have something playing in the background, something with a good beat, something with a nice little melody. That's what jazz is for. And I'm cool. <laughs> you sound like an old grandpa. <laughs> so, so I, I, I say this to say, Cardi B has dropped her debut album. Uh -huh. And I think it is a phenomenal album. Uh -huh. Now, before anybody else kills me on this, I'm not saying she's the best female rapper or best rapper of all time. No, 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 no. Thank goodness. For this being her first outing on a solo project, her debut album, it's solid. Mm -hmm. 13 tracks. I maybe skip two songs. There's one called Be Careful that I feel is for children. And there's another one called Ring that mm -hmm. she's just whining about. Why You better call me first. I'm not calling you first. Ah, grow up. Other than that, this is not bad club music. This is not bad music to listen to while you're driving. This is definitely for the women that is getting ready to go to the club or, or riding out with their girls. Ladies night type shit. Mm -hmm. I dig it. I played you Best Life featuring her and Chance the Rapper. Yep. You didn't like that. Nope. And then you, because you said you like number eight songs. So I played number eight, which happened to be the song I didn't like, Ring. And you were like, please cut this shit off. And I yep. played you the intro. Of her album, you did. which is very Meek Mill esque. If you listen to the Meek Mill intro to Dreams and Nightmares, mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really, really, really like this album. I really do. So I've had people tell me that this album is fire, to which I typically respond with, "Yes, fire is normally associated with train wrecks. <laughs> you are correct. Dumpster fires also include flames." Oh my God. Um, which is where I think this album should be thrown. God damn. Right in the middle of a dumpster fire. <laughs> what else you got for me, Raul? <laughs> Yo, it's like her voice. You know what her voice sounds like? She's fake. Like, she doesn't even sound like she talks like that. She sounds like she's faking an image. You know what? Granted, I don't like... Her voice has gotten better. Uh, because my wife listens, uh, used to listen to her mixtape, uh, Gangsta Bitch Music. I forgot what it's called. Um, she grew up from then. I know, I know, I know. If you guys can see his face, it's hilarious. Um, she's come up from then. She's 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 actually pronouncing words prop more proper than she was before. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're right. In the beginning, I couldn't deal with her voice. I was like, yo, what? She's not even. She can't talk. She can't speak. What do you? What are we doing here? So I get it. I mean, she's not Plies. Yeah. Cause Plies will put out a whole album, and you don't know what he said. He puts out a whole Instagram video. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Right. So she's not plies. And I don't expect my rappers to sound like Etta James with perfect pronunciation. And if you don't know who Etta James is, hit pause, go look up Etta James, and come see me when you're grown. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I... Uh, no. Not for you. All no. right. So I got something else. Um, Eric Bellinger, a good friend of mine uh, who... Oh, it was a while back. She used to work with me. She put me on one of his first, uh, not, I guess not first, but one of his mixtapes. Um, and he's R and B. He's a he's a writer. He's a writer. And you know these writers want to get they want to come out and get their shit together. So he came out and this is like maybe his fifth project. I don't know, but I like the album. Um, I like his music. I like his older stuff better because it was more R and B like love song type shit. Mm -hmm. But you know you got to change with the times to stay relevant, and I get it. Um, and I played your track off of this one called da uh, Dirty Dancer with him and Neo. Yeah. How did you feel about that track? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, matter of fact, you nailed it on the head. You got a you got two men on a song about dancing. Yeah. Mm. Now, granted, I, I like the album. I I this track is listen. I, I can listen to it. I was about to say listenable. This track I can listen to. Uh it's a little weird that these two songs, these two men are on a song talking about dirty dancing. But I like his music. It's, it's, it's R and B at its core. Um Definitely something I can ride down, ride, ride to Orlando listening to because that's what I did. Uh, right. Me and the wife, uh, a couple weeks back, uh, drove to uh, was it Orlando? Yeah, we went to Orlando and had that playing in the back. I mean, it's something to ride through with your girl. You know what I mean? Right. And and I've heard of Eric Bellinger before, and you're right. I do like some of his old stuff. I only heard the one track you played off of this album, so I can't really base anything off it. I wasn't digging it too much, um, but I do. I, I I am enough. I do like him enough and I do like what I've heard from him before enough that I'll actually listen to the album and give it a shot. Give it a listen. I, yeah. I played that one just to piss you off. But give the album a you listen. You played it for me because it was track eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I knew, because I, when I seen because when I seen what was track eight, I was like, oh no, this I have to play this one. This, <laughs> this has to be the one. Um, but no, the album the album is good. Uh, it came out this year. I'm not sure how soon, because I know it didn't come out last week or maybe it did. But um, 
I like that album a lot. Um, but moving on to our next album by DJ Esco called Colorblind. Um, uh, also known as Future's new album. Pretty much. That's exactly what it is. Because Future's literally on every song. It says Future and Future or what have you. It's it's Future's album. Um, I played him track eight with uh, OT Genesis, Future. And uh, he... he how, how did you react to that, Jay? You know what? I don't even remember it. <laughs> I swear to God, you played this for me. What, we've been recording for how long now? You played this for me maybe 10 minutes before we started recording. I don't remember the song. You didn't like it. Nope. I still remember it. There's literally it's, nothing that stuck out. <laughs> Except that Future's on every track. Yeah. That's, that's, that was my takeaway from that album. Why is Future on everything? Oh, there's a song playing. Uh, now, this album actually has Nas on it. Um, I don't ever want to hear Nas... And any of these new rappers, unless it's like Davies or you know these the, the new new contracts, J Cole, those type of he, if there's, have you ever listened to J uh, Davies? I have no idea who that is. Oh, I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you. You I, this this one wouldn't piss you off. I promise you. Okay. But um, yeah, I don't want to hear Nas and Future. Just like I don't want to hear Future and Jay Z at all, ever, ever. I don't want to hear nobody taking the top off the Maybach. Yeah, I, I hate it. Yeah, that seemed that seemed like an odd couple. It is, because he's trying to, like, tell a story over a trap beat. No. Not working out. Not working out. Um, And then, uh, finally, last week as well, The Weeknd dropped a six-song EP album. I don't know what they call it these days. Um, I like this album. This, uh, whatever it's called. I'm sorry. Right. I like it. It takes it back to the the old school, uh, the we- uh, old school weekend from the first three mixtape, Thursday, House of Balloons, and the other one. Uh, what did you think about that song? I, I out of all of them, I actually like this one the most. Because mm. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I get it. The weekend, you know, I used to when when he first started coming out, I used to kind of clown on him, saying, "Oh man, he just sounds like he's Michael Jackson. Mm. And he's just trying to do it again." But then you reminded me, he actually did a cover of "Dirty Diana," and it was really good. I remember that. I was like, "Damn, I didn't think anybody could pull off that." "Dirty Diana" is a hard song to pull off on a cover. Yep. And uh, yeah, he nailed it. I like the weekend. I, he's I don't I, I'm not gonna run out and listen to his album when it first comes out. Mm. But I'm also not gonna change the radio station nine times out of ten if he comes on. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely I, I, his new thing. His new stuff is a lot pop. Is a lot of pop. Yeah, it's still good. His his past two albums were phenomenal. It, I don't think he's put out a bad track in my opinion. Um, and this is no different. I, I've listened to it back to front. I really like it. It's it's it, <laughs> people talk about. You know, this is his, this is his, I guess, lemonade, because he, he sounds fucking heartbroken on this shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I love it. I love everything The weekend does, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely uh, on board for anything he puts out. But, um, yeah, man, no, it, it, we, we, I understand where you're coming from, music with a per, music with substance. Yeah. Um, The track you paid me with Freddie Gibbs, that was dope. I'm not going to lie. I, I loved every minute of it. Mm-hmm. It was dope. I, I, I'm definitely going to go back and take a listen to some more of his stuff, but I need you to listen to Dave East. All right, yeah. I'll give him a shot. Paranoia, I think it is. Paranoia Part 2 is dope. All right. Real dope. He's from Harlem. Okay, I'll, I'll give him a shot. We'll, we'll we'll see how disappointed I am. <laughs> yeah, man, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all the little topics we got today. We definitely want to bring in some other stuff uh, a little bit later, but we want to, uh, you know, have you guys listen to this next message. What's going on, Pop Song Nation? This is your boy Raul of Pop Song, and guess what? Your favorite dad's got a new number. New phone. Who this? Yeah, man. You guys can reach us at 321. Why is it ringing already? This call will be recorded what at Monica. Hell? I have a collect call from. Hey, I got a dad joke for you guys. <laughs> what? What does a snowman eat for breakfast? An inmate oh, at Lord. a San Bernardino County. Bro, who do we know in San Bernardino jail? Oh, sh. How did he get this number? Anyway, um, yeah, three, two, one, four, oh, five, twenty, two, nineteen. What the fuck is going on now? Hello? Okay, yeah, listen, I'm ready to come pick up my two pies. I nice. want everything on it. Whoa. No onions like last no, time. No, no, wait a minute. Stop, shit. stop, stop. No. Who do you think you're calling right now, dude? I'm looking for Sal's pizza. This is not Sal's, dude. This is Pop's on. Pop's on? Yeah. In Florida? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Yes. I love you guys. Oh, okay. This is incredible. Yes. Rob, well, it does sound like you. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. All right, you know, get on that Twitter shit and tell them to release the S already. Will do, partner, will do. All right, listen, take care. Peace. You turn this damn phone off. Listen, 
321-405-2219. Call us, leave a voicemail, send us a text message. We definitely want to play these voicemails of your best dad jokes or your topics on the show at some point. 321-405-2219. That's Pops On. You guys have a great day. And we are back. What up? Yeah, man. Episode 36, Pops On. Uh... Uh, just a quick, quick, quick uh, shout out to our new sponsor. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, we have spot. We have that now. We have that now. People actually listen to us and give a crap about what we say. Yes, yo, definitely shout out to Brevard Nursing Academy. Uh, again, mention us. Mention you heard about them, and you'll get a discount on your registration fee. Yeah, if you guys are looking at further in your career, a nurse nursing degree, whether it's a uh, with through CNA a license. Uh, LPN, RN, there's a lot of places you can go to with that. So definitely give them a look, see if they got a curriculum that fits for you, and give them some love. Listen, it's we're, we're, we're all homegrown over here. Yeah. They're, they're local Central Florida business. We are a local Central Florida, I don't know, with three guys who like spending time in Marcel's bedroom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds all bad. Yeah, no, none of it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we really do appreciate it. So uh, yeah, give them a look. Um, man. 36 episodes in. Yeah. Feels good. Feels real good. Feels fantastic. Topic we want to get into today. Um, how our relationships affect our kids. Uh, and, and it's, you know, not necessarily, you know, with your significant other. Just with anything and anyone in general. Yeah. Um, and I brought this one up to Jay because the other day, you know, my I have three kids. Jay has two. Uh, I was I was you know with my daughters and they were playing music and my daughter's like, oh, you want to read some old stuff that I used to write down from a couple of years ago? And right off the back, I was like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> it sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to read any of that. But no, she was you know talking about because you know you don't never really realize what your kids notice or how they notice things or how they perceive things, and it really opened my eyes to like really want to like. Not close them off from certain things, but to just be more coy, I guess is the word, uh, with certain things that we expose them to. Um, and it, it 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 wasn't nothing crazy. Don't get me wrong, but she knew that you know my wife and I were you know having arguments and little troubles here and there, um, which and we're fine now. Everything is good, the copacetic right now. But back then, we didn't even have any idea that they paid attention. Right. So she read me some stuff. She's like, oh, daddy and, and, and mom are going, you know, going somewhere. They're saying they're going out grocery shopping, but I know they're going to go see a counselor. And I was like, nigga, how? What the, why, first of all, why are you in our business? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what do you go do something? You're just too inquisitive. Shit. Um, but she knew. She knew shit was going down. You know what I mean? I don't know if that was a way for preparing herself or, you know, something like that. But it's it's crazy to think. It's crazy. It's, it, it's naive of you to think that your kids don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, kids notice. Yeah, kids always notice, man. There's nothing that you're gonna get past your kids because they live in the house with you. You can't get rid of them. Facts. They observe and they see things, mm-hmm. and they're scary because they're tiny. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I don't, I don't know. What what are, what are some things that you had to uh to talk to your to your kids about? Yeah, I mean, with you know, with my son, the split between his mom and I was really tough. Um, so you know. It, I've always made it very, I've always been very careful about who I bring him around. You know what I mean? Because I don't want him to just come around random girlfriends and random chicks I was saying because I didn't want him to see, I, I didn't want to expose him to anyone else that I didn't know. You know what I mean? And, and that's that's a big thing that affected my relationships. If you're not someone that I can bring around my son, I ain't going to be around you long. Pretty much. You know, so that was a big thing. I also, I'm also careful about the friends I bring my kids around because I grew up, uh, I I won't go too into detail, uh, but there was some stuff happening at home growing up, and, and seeing all that, being exposed to a lot of things like that was scary. Yeah, scary as all shit. And um, so so because of that, you know, I came up with remembering that I don't want my kids to ever see any of that. Between you know, after my parents split, you know, seeing my mom with a different boyfriend every time I went to go see her, my dad with all the stuff that he was going through. I I don't want my son to see. Any of it. Not that I don't want him to know that it's happening, because when he gets old enough, we're obviously going to have a talk, and we'll, you know, you know, I'll tell him all the stuff that happened and craziness that went on in the life. But yeah, he's a kid when he's ready. Exactly. Yeah, when he's ready. As a kid, I don't want him to have to deal with any of that. I just want him to be a kid. 
Um, so yeah, relationships, the people I have relationships with, if, you know, my son always comes into a factor with that and now my daughter, right. you know, and, and, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that I'm the best influence to her that I can be. You know what I mean? So I am careful about, you know, who, who comes to the house. You know, they, oh, you know, I got friends that hit me up like, hey, man, can we hang out? I'm like, not at my house. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not bringing you around my kid. And you gotta, you gotta be straight up like that. Cause yeah. it is, it is, it is, it is a big deal. It, they, you don't know how certain people influence kids. You don't know how, how their kids can influence your kid. And, and, that, and even inadvertently, you know, like somebody might do something, your kids, he's like, oh, that looks cool. And, and that, all of a sudden, you're soft to the races. Yeah. 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 And so, cause um, I know, like, I got certain. I got I, you know. Me and my wife have uh, certain friends, you know, and we yeah, we love them all. Don't get me wrong. You're not. There's no way that we're gonna ha- hang out at the house, and and that's something that we had to because you know we we're young. You know what I mean? We we met. She, she was 25. I was 21. So we're wild and outside. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um. We can't have house parties with the alcohol and and you know the dancing and all of that with the kids here. That doesn't make sense. It's right. not cool. So my daughter would see that, and she would be like, "I don't, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like your friends. I don't want them doing any of that." And mind you, we're not doing anything crazy, but simple fact is, there's drinking going on. There's things that was me. Yeah, there's <laughs> drinking going on and stuff like that. No, you can't have that around the kids. Um, and so you know, growing up with, so I, I, I call my stepdad my dad. That's, that's right. my dad, right? Um, but him and my mom had arguments like all the time. It was, I didn't think they, t- I just thought that's how they spoke at one point, to be honest with you. Every time they t- you would hear him screaming on one end and her, but, 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 and I'm like, what? So is this? I was like, I grew up there. I'm like, I, it could have went one of two ways. Like, oh, this is normal. Or I don't ever want to have to put any woman through that. So I, my, my thought process is like, I see how my mom is and like, I'm not putting no woman through that. That shit looks stressful as hell. Right. You know what I mean? Or I grew up. Seeing all my uncles having multiple girls. In my head, that was normal. Yeah. So I just thought, yeah, of course, you're going to be my girl, and you're going to be my girl. What's the problem? Everybody gets a girl. Every, you know what I mean? Like everybody gets, we, can, we can share. Not me not knowing at a young age, like, that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not how that normally works you out. You did that. I don't, know how, I don't know what world you grew up in, but you don't do that, sir. And I had to learn that growing up. Like I, I, I remember in high school, I had, I had a girl, and then I had like it was it was it was a girl I was with, and then some other. This when like social media just started popping off, and other girls was noticing me. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna talk to y'all too. And I was like, oh yeah, we, we all one big happy talking family. No, that's not how this works. I'm mad that you mentioned social media when you were in high school. You know what we had when I was in high school? The notes. Chat rooms. For, oh, the AOL chat rooms? Yo, the chat rooms. And let me tell you, that wasn't even high school. That was like junior year. Jeez. Yeah, you got that shit late. Yeah. Cause you, niggas had dial-up back in the day. You just can't be in the chat room all day. Mm-mm. No, you know what computer class was? It wasn't learning how to navigate the internet. It was learning how to navigate Encyclopedia in Carta. In Carta. I remember in Carta. Yeah. I used to use that shit all the time. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember that shit. You old. Yeah, fuck you. You was all the way. You was all the way in high school learning that. I was in like, <laughs> like fifth grade. When I was in high school, bro, if you could type forty words a minute, you were stellar. Wow. Yeah. You know, niggas don't even type no more. Just speak to your phone. Yeah. No, I know. That's well, I, I can type like eighty-five words a minute now. I can type super fast now. I, I'm, I don't know if it's eighty-five, but I can definitely type super fast now without looking at the computer. I've grown up. That's how you know. <laughs> Yeah, man. No, it's 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 a big deal. So you know, and then me seeing, how, you know, the arguments between my mom and my dad, it raised a lot of resentment from me to my dad. So right. I began to not like him, and that's not cool. Because then in your head, you get, it's like a defiant thing. And it's, it's like at the end of the day, that's that's a grown up. You have to respect that grown up. That's your man. The way between him and your mom, that has nothing to do with you. Respect that man for what he is and keep it pushing. Right. No, and, and that's, you know, it, it's, you know, you bring that up. I really make sure that my son, when he does come over and he does see me with Lorraine, that he he sees what a relationship should look like. Not saying that, you know, we're, we're, model, we're a model couple. 
You know, everybody has a, con- you know, everybody, their concerns. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking work. Uh, <laughs> everybody's got their problems. Everybody's got their, everybody's got their baggage and stuff. But I do like my son to see us talking things out. I do like to see my son watch us work things out. Right. Uh, because he didn't see that with his mom and I. And, and honestly, he, you know, we had the conversation a little while ago, you know, about why his mom and I split. And I said, son, honestly, it was the best thing we could do for you. Because otherwise, you were just going to be home watching us yell and scream at each other all day. Yeah, that's and that's not, not what I want you to see. I don't want you to grow up in that kind of a house. Yeah. I don't want you to think that that's how relationships work. Because right. it's not. I mean, I don't know how relationships work. I'm not going to pretend to be an yeah. expert. I don't have any fucking clue what I'm doing. But I know what it shouldn't be. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and I want my son to be able to. Yeah, I, I, I am happy that my son saw that. And he understands now that sometimes the best thing you can do with somebody that you're with is just walk away. Yeah, and that's just for it's just to help you, it's to help everybody in that situation. Should I remember um, when me and my wife were going through whatever we were going through? Mason, again, not even thinking that he knew what's going on, and this is not he didn't like come out and say anything. But I was like, "Yo, what's wrong?" He was like, "Oh, he's like, oh, daddy, feel this." So I put my hand on his chest where his heart is. He's like, "It's not working." I was like, "What's not working?" He was like, "My heart, it's not working." And I was like, oh. I was like, "Oh, you." <laughs> What the fuck is this? I was like, damn, that what shit. Happened? Did you watch Lion King and not cry when Mufasa died? I don't, I don't know. I don't what know caused what, this line of questioning? I don't know what happened, right? But he was just like, it's not it's not working. But like a couple weeks, you know, when things got back together and everything started working again, um, when everything started working, when, it, when you know, me and his mom got back with, uh, you know, getting everything situated, he would feel his shit. Like, it's working now. Everything is working. Everything is fine. I was like, so you really got to uh, understand. Oh, he had a broken heart. Yeah. Like, Aww. like you you really got to, like, that's his way of saying that I'm sad. I got a broken heart. Like, yeah. I was like, that is, first of all, that's that's clever. But damn, I didn't real. I did not realize that this is how he was. You know, you think a three, two, three-year-old doesn't know what's going on. They right. know exactly what the hell's yeah, going know. on. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? So you, you just have to be mindful of how... You do things um, around your kids, and just just always have positive. Even even if the situation is not positive, always try to have some kind of positivity around them. Encouraging words. Never do the whole "oh you're stupid" or "you're not this" or "you're never gonna be that." Don't do that shit. I don't like any of that things. Or any of those things around my kid. No. Even when they say it to each other, I'm like, no. Nah, yeah, you go apologize, kiss and make up. I don't give a shit. Go do what you gotta do to to make that person feel better. Yeah. Because your sister, she's y'all are y'all are a team. Is us? Is y'all against us? So if, if she's not on your side, you hey, you know, messed up. Yeah. Shit. Because I remember my dad tried to get my sister to snitch, because he lived in New York, tried to get my sister to snitch on, on me, talking about my room is messed up. So I had to let her know, like, yo, you and I are a team. He's going to pay us. If he's paying you more money because you're snitching on me, then hit. this is how this is going to go down. We both get the same money when you say it's clean. Just say it's clean. Yeah. There was no camera phone. There's no really camera message. He didn't know how to work that shit back then. So he's not going to say, send me a picture. <laughs> All right? Just me and you, we got this. And we've been getting money ever since <laughs> to this day. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's it, you just don't, you you don't know what your kids know. No, Just to put it simple. You know what I mean? Watch what you're doing in front of them. Yeah. If, if, if you see that they're following everything you do, then do some positive shit. Yeah, and don't be, and, and you know what, no, nobody's perfect either. If you know, if sometimes, you know, you, 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 you I mean, Lorraine and I, I, I'm happy to say Lorraine, I've never had like a real like fight, fight. Like we've had disagreements. That's me we, knocking on wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm knocking on my head right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but we, we never, we've never had a fight. You know what I mean? Like we've had disagreements that we're able to talk through and we deal with it and we'll go, you know, we get over it. Right. But my son's mom and I, duh, you say good morning. What the fuck makes it so good? Mm. Why are you being such an asshole about it? And that it would just start Spirals. the fight. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, it's, sometimes it's unavoidable to not do that around the kid. Sometimes you you just have no choice, and it's gonna happen. And that's when you you know you take your kid and you let them know, hey, look, this is not normal. This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm sorry you saw that. And, and you make sure that the kids are aware of 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 what's happening because it's one thing for the kid to see it. It's another thing for the kid to know what's happening, but it's another thing completely for the kid to understand what's happening. Right. And that's what's more important than anything. And there are all those situations. Like we were talking about with friends. That, you know, I'm not bringing some of these friends around my kid. Right. I love them. They're my friends, but that's my friend. You know, like yeah. th- that's yeah. not something I ever want my kid to know about. And honestly, since I've become a father, a lot of those people are cut out of my life just because I can't bring you around my son. 
why? Like, I, wh- why am I going to be around? I, I like, I, I, my priority is my kid. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot, and that, that goes into a lot of different things. Like, with, like I say, with my health situation, I, my son is now. I, you know, him and I are helping each other. You know, helping him with you know making sure he's doing well in school. He's helping me making sure I take my insulin because. He needs to understand when things like this happen, like like say he had his surgery today. I was like, you see how daddy has to take his, his yeah. medicine to feel good? You have to take your medicine to feel better. Your throat is hurting. Let's take this medicine on time so that you can feel better. He sees me doing that. That automatically puts it in his head. Hey, this is what I have to do to keep shit pushing. Yeah. So it, it just don't don't ever, ever think that your kid doesn't know what's going on. And st- people have to stop this thing. With, oh, he's just a child. Nope. No, he he can he can th- he or she can think for themselves. Okay, I, no, I've can. seen it with my own goddamn eyes. I, yeah, sometimes I'm like, really, dude. But no, these kids can think for themselves. Okay, Get, let them mess up first, and then you come in and swoop in. But don't automatically start off on the wrong foot. Exactly. You know what I mean? But that that's our little message. <laughs> hey, yeah. A message from Jay and Raul. Yeah, it's time to go back to being ignorant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> until next time, folks. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for the uh, for all the love and support that you guys provide to us. And again, big shouts to Brevard Nursing Academy. Uh, give them a call at 321-323-9554. Classes start May 7th. Uh, give them, uh, you can visit them on the website, www.brevardnursingacademy.com for more information as well. Jay. Yo. Take us home, brother. Hey, guys, don't forget, look us up. Drop us off. Let us know what about your kids and your relationships. Hit us up on social media. Uh, find us on Twitter at No Dad Jokes with a Z. Hit us up on Facebook. It pops on Instagram. You can also hit us at No Dad Jokes or email us at No Dad Jokes at gmail.com. Bro, where can people call us with dad jokes? 321 405 2219. Leave a message. Leave it in voicemail. We're on WhatsApp as well. I forgot to plug that shit. Oh. Add our phone number 321 405 2219. We're on WhatsApp. So you can even send us a Voice note, video chat. Uh, not vi- no, no, sorry. We're not video chatting. Don't video chat. Video, We're not answering these guys. You can send us a video and we'll maybe post it on the Pop Song Group uh, page and tag you in it of any kind of reviews you have for the show, for a movie, for a song. Do you have a song that you want to annoy Jay with? Oh, boy. Please let me know. Yeah. Please let yeah, me know. Yeah, it's going to be a thing. Yeah, it's going to be a real thing. But again, uh, we do appreciate all the love and support. Uh, again, Thank you, guys. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Uh, That's going to do us for tonight. Uh, Don't forget, spoil kids, not movies. And please, no dad jokes. Peace. Peace. Thank you for listening to Pops On. Email us any questions and your best dad jokes at nodadjokes at gmail.com. For more content, please like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash nodadjokes. Follow us on Instagram at nodadjokes and Twitter at nodadjokes with a Z. Yeah, we tried to get no dad jokes within us, but apparently some thing that got out of hand wanted to take it and then not post anything for two f-ing years on Twitter because, hey, look at me, I'll get this now and maybe at some point I'll actually figure out how to use f-ing Twitter because it's not like I don't have anything else to do with my damn life. I'm just going to f*** these guys whoa, instead. Whoa, Wait, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, but, whoa. Hey, hey, family show, man. Whoa, family. I bet you his mother's a fucking whore.